Vatican doctors have confirmed the sample. Another 13 footer. The DNA? It's viable. Whoa. Have they found it yet? No, they don't have the exact location yet. We are searching the satellite data and his boat's GPS. Misko has gotten to him first. I doubt he's alive. Our people are still looking for him. Douglas, I've got the numbers. An oceanographer has contacted me, and he confirmed the changes in the seabed. He was worried, but now he seems to have disappeared. What are you talking about? Look, Dr. Anthony, I've got my hands full right now people up in arms over this foreign drilling project. Something way the hell out in space is the least of my worries. And we've had another axis shift as well. Now remember Douglas, every one degree tilt changes the jet stream by hundreds of miles. If we have a large shift, the world as we know it will be changed overnight. If that happens, my God, what can we expect? Massive earthquakes, crops will die, coastlines will change. How would we prepare for something like that? Hell, I don't know, that's your job. I gotta go. Hey, come back. You gotta help me out. Hey! Hey, can I talk to you? I just want to talk to you. Please? Say what you need to say and leave. Someone came to see me. He never said a word. He wouldn't answer my questions. He just looked at me from my head to my shoes, didn't say a word, 
I felt like he was scanning me. Something they want has been discovered. They are ascertaining if you are a threat to them. Why are you here, Dr. Anthony? You speak of the shifters, the evil ones. There are men who are in league with the fallen ones. They have reopened the door to darkness. We have re-entered the days of Babel. What has been will be again. The hybrids are here. The corruption of the human genome has begun. What has been will be again. There will be signs in the sun and moon and stars. The sea and waves roaring. Strange sights in the heavens. Men's hearts will fail them for fear. Looking at the things coming upon the earth. It wasn't a serpent in the Garden of Eden that caused the fall of mankind. Nakash is an upright, serpentine, shining one. As the Earth breaks down into chaos, they are behind the scenes. They have succeeded at CERN. We have pierced the veil, ripped the fabric of space, time. Only two portals remain to be opened to us. Then nothing will be impossible mm. for us. Welcome back to your rightful place, Apollyon. We have reached the dawning of our day. Mm. Glad you came by. What'd you get from the drive I sent you? There wasn't much on it. A sketch of Trent's face and what looked like a mountain. He said big changes were happening on the seafloor. His report would stop them from drilling in the whole area. Billions of dollars are at stake here. And this discovery? Giant bone? That has nothing to do with the oil company. It's just another interested party. Supposedly, every time giant bones are found, they're secreted away and never seen again. The guy at the lab was scared. He said there was DNA in the bone that Trent brought up, and it wasn't entirely human. He didn't know what. Now it and all of his records are gone. Who knows what's down there? It's the same with aliens and ancient artifacts. Someone wants to control this information. What if there are forces who want to hide the real connection to suit their own agenda, and Trench has stumbled onto that? Had to get off the farm, eh? Well, you picked the wrong mountain. This one's gonna burn. No, no. Stop. Stop it. Wouldn't you rather chew on a little hemp bro? This makes no sense to me. What do aliens have to do with giants and ancient deities? What do these have to do with Flanders missing? It's not that complicated. It's just hard to sum up millennia of human history in just a few words. Try. Think David and Goliath. 
Goliath was most likely a descendant of the giants. They were interdimensional, violent, cannibalistic, incredibly strong beings. In all of the accounts before and after Noah's flood, Satan and all of the fallen angels wanted to corrupt human DNA. It's the same thing that's going on today. I saw one once. Not the alien, the craft. We started yelling and waving, trying to get it to come closer. And it did. Almost instantly, it was directly above us. I know they're real. In my line of work, I've seen hundreds of them all over the galaxy. They don't seem to be bound by any of our laws of physics. We believe there are 10 dimensions. We don't know which ones they're from or what their limitations are. You remind me of my father. Always thinking. Is he in New Zealand too? Down under. Australia. No. Six feet. Other side of the sod. I'm sorry. I was 14. And he was always working. And my last words to him were, why do you even bother to come home? And one day he didn't. Your mom? She always followed him. She got pneumonia. A month later, she was gone too. I've got to find my dog. Copernicus!
Hey there. You're right there, mate. They're closing the road, evacuating the area. Do you want to ride into town? Hey. Hey, my name's Flanders. I have an important message for the Prime Minister. Don't we all, son? Do you have a mobile phone? Mobile phone? No phone, bad for the brain. But you can use my droid. Wi-Fi is pretty good out here. Climb in before this mountain blows its top. Here at the start, where the words fall apart Where language is lost in the wind The syllables sway in an ancient ballet The meaningless sounds that we sing Sleep, baby, sleep Hello? Taylor, he's alive. Trent just called. He just left the um, energy minister's office. He, yeah, he said that he'd explain later. Oh my God, you're kidding. I, I don't know, I don't know where that is. He's gonna get a ride with the uh, local flyer. He wants us to pick him up at the, the pub there. He really hates flying. He said the whole coast is, is trembling and shaking like something's coming. Can you meet me there? He'd really like that. I, I don't know, I don't know where that is. Uh, do you know what, it's fine. My GPS will find it. All right, see you there. Yeah, I'm on my way. All right, thanks. I got a picture of you on my wall. Power in hand and your shirt's up. Hey man, thanks. I, I really appreciate the ride. Hey man, thanks for the ride. No problem, I'm just going to an air show near there. I need some more practice. Sorry, did you say air show? Fasten your seatbelt. Tighter.
Thanks again for the ride, mate. As for the air show, I think you'll take the prize. Selena called. Her car won't start. She uh, she asked me to pick you up. Do you know why they call me the middleman? Because I'm the only thing that stands between you and the Grim Reaper. And I have a treat for you. <sighs> I've been called a necromaniac once or twice, but that's a little unfair. I've never killed anybody. I just get them to hold very still. Then the elements do it for me. Earth, wind, fire. When they find out you're not dead, they're going to try again. Yeah, no, I've talked to the energy minister. Now they know about the instability of the area. But I didn't mention the Nephilim skeletons. Got to find Nick and get a team. That's a tremor. We better get out of the building. Yeah, I've been having a lot of those. Just when you think everything's cool. Let's walk to that point out there. There was some kind of explosion in the water.
we are sorry to interrupt the regular programming, but we have breaking news. This is a first for New Zealand, and maybe for the whole world. Reports are flooding in of a volcano being upthrust from the sea. Geologists are gobsmacked. They have never seen anything like it. They believe it is an ancient volcano re-emerging, upthrust from the colliding of the two plates. Three eyewitnesses say an entire fleet of UFOs appeared briefly as the volcano reached the surface and then vanished before their eyes. I like all the statues in this park. Yeah. Gives it a sense of history, like things that have happened before us. It's getting dark. We should get you home. We'll have to try again for that nice dinner. I've never seen that statue here before. It's... It's too evil to be in such a beautiful garden. Almost unnatural. It fits right in with the giant skeletons and the UFOs. I guess they got what they came for. No, no, we haven't. No, we haven't. It's just begun. Again. It is the third incursion. Thank you.